Hello, we are group four and our topic is on increasing awareness of prostate cancer among African American males. What is prostate cancer? According to Urology Cancer and Prostate Cancer Foundation, the prostate is a small walnut shaped gland in the pelvis of men. It is located next to the bladder and can be examined by getting a digital rectal exam. Cancer occurs when normal prostate cells start to grow uncontrollably. Once the cancer develops, it feeds off androgens such as male sex hormones for fuel. Prostate cancer is slow growing at the beginning stages. It spreads first to tissues near the prostate such as seminal vesicles and nearby lymph nodes. It is important because it is the second leading cause of cancer death for men in the United States. About one in nine will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. And about two in three men will die from prostate cancer. When to get screened. If you have a family history, begin screening at the age of 40. If you are African American, begin screening at the age of 45. If you have no family history and are not African American, begin screening at the age of 50. Discuss with your doctor if you are between the ages of 55 through 69. Screening is not recommended for those over 70. This chart takes into account U.S. Preventative Services Task Force update screening recommendations issued in 2017. There are two primary means of screening prostate cancer, the digital rectal exam and the PSA test. However, PSA test is the leading method of screening for prostate cancer here in the U.S. PSA or prostate-specific antigen is a protein produced by the prostate and found mostly in semen with very small amounts released into the bloodstream. When there's a problem with the prostate, such as the development and growth of prostate cancer, more PSA is released. But sometimes a man's prostate releases slightly high PSA for other reasons. Rising PSA eventually reaches a level where it can be easily detected by a blood test. PSA test is done through blood testing. The results are usually reported as nanograms of PSA per ml of blood. The slide shows a chart provided by the Prostate Cancer Foundation that indicates the normal PSA range for each stated age group. Requires five inputs. Its source is San Diego State University Public Health Students. First message is to increase PSA screening amongst African American males between the ages of 40 to 60 years of age. Second message is to increase awareness at local African American churches. The channels that will be used are Facebook and printed media. With primary and secondary receivers are African men between the ages of 40 to 69 years of age, with the secondary receiver having a family history of prostate cancer. Both the primary and secondary audience will have knowledge of prostate cancer due to living with the disease and having a father who has or has had the disease. The elaboration likelihood model has two routes. The central route logically focuses on emphasizing the benefits of PSA screening and the statistics on risks of not getting screened through Facebook page. And the peripheral route, which emotionally focuses on decreasing cultural myth and social misconceptions about PSA screening and prostate cancer. Cutlers for Peace For a health campaign, Facebook and printed media will be utilized to increase awareness of prostate cancer and screening rates. PSA screening tests can detect prostate cancer early, which makes it cheaper and can save lives. Places such as Facebook and African American churches will be utilized. Its promotion is hashtag activity in social media and PSA screening awareness campaign at local African American community. Our campaign objectives include announce advice, advocate, and activate. We will include resources about prostate cancer and screening process. We will also emphasize the importance of getting screened for prostate cancer among African American males. Lastly, we will use a hashtag following today's trend to promote PSA screening. Our primary target audience is 40 to 69 years old African American men. Because this group age is the most common age getting prostate cancer. Also, some studies show that African Americans are more likely to get aggressive type of prostate cancer. Our personal for primary target audience. His name is Ken Griffey Senior. He is 68 years old and family man. He is married to Valerie Griffey. He is father of two children. He lives in Panora, Pennsylvania. He uses Facebook daily to connect with his family. Our secondary target audience is going to target sons of African American males that have a family history of prostate cancer. The reason being is that family history is the strongest risk factor for prostate cancer, amounting to 5-10% to of all prostate cancers being hereditary. 
For example, if one family member, such as a father, is diagnosed with prostate cancer, then the son is twice as likely to get prostate cancer. Now, if two family members, such as a father and a grandfather, are diagnosed with prostate cancer, then the son's risk increases fivefold. This is due to mutations in the BRCA2 gene being commonly hereditary. The persona for our secondary target audience is Ken Griffey Jr. He is a 49-year-old former professional baseball outfielder. He is married to Melissa Griffey and has three children. He lives in Winter Garden, Florida, and is the son of Ken Griffey Sr., a former prostate cancer survivor. The channels our group will use to reach our primary and secondary audience are Facebook and print media. According to social media fact sheet and the graph to the right, 64% of 50 to 64 year old adults use social media. 55% of adults age 50 and older use Facebook. Through print media, we will distribute flyers that promote awareness and screening for prostate cancer. Our media channel that we will use to reach our target audience is Facebook. We created a page called Save the Nut that emphasizes the benefit of PSA awareness and screening. This is a page where people are free to share concerns or thoughts regarding this topic and also a place where we can become better informed. Our goal is to share posts, information, and articles to better reach our audience in hopes that they will get screened. Our flyers will be promoting prostate cancer awareness and encouraging our audiences to get screened. We will be distributing these flyers in doctor's offices, at hospitals, and at churches. These places are where we believe we can reach and target our primary and secondary audience. We want to emphasize the importance of being healthy. Our first message is to increase prostate-specific antigen screening tests amongst African-American males 40 to 69 years of age through Facebook. We will focus on emphasizing the benefit of PSA screening and reducing mortality from prostate cancer through our Facebook page, Save the Nut. We will use a central route in the elaboration likelihood model using a logical argument based on statistics. We will use a photo illustrating mortality reduction from PSA screening. Our second message is to increase prostate cancer awareness at local African American churches. We will have an emotional focus emphasizing the importance of being healthy and prostate cancer free. The pastor of the church will announce the importance of prostate cancer during commencement announcement the first Sunday of every month. A photo may be included as a background with African American men who lost their life due to prostate cancer. For our process evaluation, we will utilize two forms to gather qualitative data. First, we will have a focus group interview on African American males who have not been screened for prostate cancer, questions regarding what's stopping them from getting screened, their feelings, and their knowledge about the screening process will be asked for pre-prostate cancer screening interview. Lastly, we will conduct phone interviews on African American males post-prostate cancer screening, questions about their motivation to get screened, their views before and after getting screened, and what can help encourage more African American males to get screened. Smart Impact Goal Increase prostate cancer engagement and related awareness in the African American population by 10% by 2020. Impact Evaluation we measure prostate cancer awareness engagement by likes, the number of people share our social media content. Outcome evaluation. To measure prostate cancer awareness engagement pre-post programs through open-ended questions, choose local hospitals in the area that have higher number of African-American residents. Therefore, we can simply ask if we are able to promote awareness. Smart outcome goals. To increase prostate cancer screening rates, amongst African-American population by 10% by January 2020. Our outcome evaluations to retrieve data from local clinics and hospitals to establish pre-program screening rates, evaluate surveys at the end of the study, um, which is the end of 2019, look at questions specifically regarding screening rates after the different timeframes, which is three, six, and 12 months. And if data is applicable, retrieve data from local clinics and hospitals. Hashtag, Hashtag save, save the, the nut. Save the nut.